Tofu is actually kind of like a bean cheese, or I guess the official term would be bean curd. It's made by grinding up soybean with water, which produces soy milk. Then a coagulant is added to the soy milk, which will coagulate, coagulate? coagulate the tofu. And then as it coagulates, uh, heavy blocks are put on the tofu blocks. And then depending on the amount of moisture that gets pressed out of the tofu, you will get either different kinds of soft tofu or even silken tofu or a firmer piece of tofu. When you taste the softer tofu, it'll have a more cutter-like mouthfeel, very smooth, very soft, that it breaks apart easily in your mouth, but also in the pan. So when you're cooking with softer tofu, you want to use more water to either broil or cook the tofu. Uh, and soft tofu lends itself well for soups or braised food. Firm tofu ha has less moisture in it, so when you cook it with oil, it can actually get a nice crispy edge around the blocks. And this means that it's better for woks. People can also like to put it in soup because it has a more firm, chewy taste. And firm tofu will have a stronger soybean taste or kind of like a lightly nutty sweet taste. Whereas soft tofu does not really have a strong taste of itself, but it lends itself well for absorbing all the moisture of the sauce or soup that you um, cook the tofu in. And it's important when handling the soft tofu that you don't stir with it too aggressively and because it'll break apart. And it also helps to cut the tofu in larger blocks to prevent it from uh, falling apart in uh, little pieces. Okay, now that we're done with the explanation, I think we're ready to start cooking. For dish number three, we are going to use a fish sauce based uh, sauce. So here are all different kinds of fish sauce. And the thing you should know is that you should buy fish sauce that's made from anchovies because that has a more unique umami taste. This is the cheapest one available at the Toko, but also the poorest in quality. So try to buy the one made from anchovies. So fish sauce is used a lot in Thailand and Vietnam. They fermentate the fish with uh, salt, I think, and you get this very punchy umami flavored liquid. For the last dish, I'd recommend either a non-stick skillet or an iron cast skillet like I have here. Just give it a generous amount of oil. About two tablespoons, I guess. You can test the temperature of the oil by just putting in a block of tofu. If it's bubbling quite wildly like this, it should be about right to put in your tofu. Put in your firm tofu. Depending on the amount of persons you're cooking for, I guess like 100 grams a person. Do not put in the garlic just yet because we're not going to add any water. Uh, like with the, br the braised tofu, it'll burn quite fast. Gently stir the tofu, make sure you don't break any blocks. So if you prefer your tofu even more crispy than I'm making it right now, you can actually get more moisture out of the tofu before cooking by squeezing it between two kitchen towels or paper towels. It'll help with the browning of the tofu. As you've seen with the salad, it's not about getting the tofu well done or anything because it's already good to eat, but you want to get it nice and hot and to crisp out the outside a little bit. Needs about two minutes of stir frying and then we're ready to get in the garlic. You just want to stir fry the garlic for about one minute. As you can see here, the, the tofu is getting nice and brown on all sides. It's about time for the garlic to join our main star. Woo, let's get in there. As the garlic gets fragrant and browned, 
you know it's about time to put in that fish sauce but before we do that i'm going to add some green onions here i have fish sauce from vietnam imported by me you want to make sure your fish sauce is not overbearing in a dish so start with just a nice dash of the fish sauce like that put your heat to low we don't want it to burn because there's also some sugar in there give the good stir i'm going to add a dash of salt I will need to taste what's happening over here to make sure it's not too too salty. Ooh, that's hot. So it can use a bit more of fish sauce. Like that. Stir-fried tofu with fish sauce. Now this dish is actually my sister's idea. Uh, as I bought her the fish sauce, she said she tried it with tofu first. She really liked it. So, uh, so yeah, this is actually my first time trying it like this too. Mm. So I really like the stir fried tofu because it really gives a nice texture to the mm, firm tofu. This piece of tofu didn't have, have a lot of uh, fish sauce taste. And it's because as I was putting in dashes of fish sauce, some tofu were coated and some were not. So I guess learning from this, I would say definitely add a little bit of water with the fish sauce so you can evenly coat the tofu easier. I'm gonna try another, try to, try another one. Mm. So the outside has this mm, very, I guess I, I could say punchy, salty flavor from the salt and fish sauce. And then as you bite down and the inner parts of the tofu comes down on your mouth and your tongue, the taste is contrasted with this sweet, slightly nutty flavor. It really pairs well with the salty flavors of the sauce. So this is a really nice and interesting way to experiment with what tofu can bring to the tastes of, of different ingredients. And very unique taste that we all found out more. Damn it. Have it well. Or this year last. Okay. These, eh? Oh, yeah, the. It's about time for the garlic to join our main star. Woo, let's get in there. I have heard too many people, Western people, saying tofu tastes like a bland piece of soya meat. Well, this has been the last day that they will say that. Today, I'm going to teach you three ways to make tofu taste delicious. Are you guys ready? Come with me.